The Battle of Stanford Bridge, 25th of September, 1066. The Battle of Stanford Bridge was the result of a succession crisis after the death of King Edward the Confessor of England. There were three claimants to the throne. One was English nobleman Harold Godwinson, another was Duke William of Normandy, and the other was the King of Norway, Harold Hardrada. England had previously been ruled by Harthur Knut, the son of Knut the Great, until he died childless in 1042 AD. Hardrada based his claim on him being a successor of these noble lines. Edward's negotiations throughout the 1050s gave Hardrada, as well as William of Normandy, an impression that they were a possible heir to Edward. Harold Godwinson managed to snatch the crown first, thus greatly upsetting the two claimants to the point where war was inevitable. The now King Harold expected William to attack first. However, severe storms across the English Channel meant William was unable to set sail. As a result, Harold had assembled his army in the south, awaiting the inevitable Norman invasion. In this time, however, Hardrada had arrived with a force numbering between 7,000 to 9,000 men. There, Hardrada met Tostic Godwinson, brother of King Harold. The two brothers had fallen out, and now Tostic joined the invading Norse. The combined forces sailed up the Aus and advanced on York, defeating a northern English army at the Battle of Fulford. Harold began a forced march of 185 miles and managed to cover the distance in an astonishing four days. The Norsemen were on the other side of the River Derwent, and is thought to have been deployed in an area known as Battle Flats. After a brief talk between the two kings, the battle would commence. The Norse, however, in their haste to get into battle position, had left their armour behind. Harold first had to get to his enemy, and to do so, he would have to cross the narrow Stanford Bridge. A single Norwegian berserker, who managed to slay 40 Englishmen, blocked the English army. It was only with an English soldier floating under the bridge in a barrel, thrusting his spear through the planks of the bridge, killing the berserker, was the English army able to cross. Once on the other side, the English were presented with a Norse shield wall. The English formed a line and engaged the Norsemen. The two shield walls pushed the battle far beyond Stamford Bridge, and eventually the Norse began to fare the worst. Eventually the Norse army fractured, allowing the English to outflank the shield wall. Hardrada was killed by an arrow, and Harold's own traitorous brother Tostig was slain. With their leaders dead, the Norse army was defeated. The battle had been a costly one, with 5,000 English dead and over 6,000 Norse killed. With the Norwegian threat dealt with, Harold was able to make a truce and send the Norse home. However, three days after the battle, Harold received news that the Normans, led by Duke William, had landed in Sussex. Thank you for watching and listening. All sources are listed and linked into the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.